Thank you guys for 20K on YouTube. I greatly appreciate it. We've been on the high street. I've been dropping one video every week. I'm gonna try and keep the momentum going, you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial. I already got some shapes here that I pre-made. You can use this effect on whatever shape you want. I'm just using these as an example for you guys. So what you're gonna wanna do, start off by selecting one of the shapes, and then let's go over to Effect, Distort, and Transform. Then we're gonna get this pop-up window here. And what we wanna do is we just wanna mess with the scaling of these. I've tested this out already to see kind of what works best as far as these shapes that I have. It might be different for you, so experiment with it a little bit. For the circle, let's boost the number of copies up to about 120. Let's do a vertical scale of 95%. That's starting to look pretty cool. Now what we wanna do is rotate this. We don't need to rotate it by much because small increments have a big difference in how this thing is gonna look. So I'm just gonna do a rotation of two degrees. There's our effect for the circle. I could even dial back the number of copies to make it a little bit less dramatic. But let's dial that back to 30. And that looks pretty cool. I like the way this is looking. So I'm just going to leave it as is and move on over to our square over here. I'm going to apply some similar effects to the square. So let me just highlight that and go to transform. For this one, let's do number of copies 120. Let's do a scale of 95% on both horizontal and vertical axes. That looks pretty cool. We could do a higher rotation. So let's try and mess with that a bit. I'll set this at 87% or 87 degrees. And that, that looks pretty sick to me. I'm kind of satisfied with this. So I'm just going to move on. Our next one here, which is this kind of star shape, going to apply that transform effect to it. And we're already kind of getting some cool stuff just based off of the effects that we have set for the cube. And so I'm just going to change this to be a scale of 90. Let's boost the rotation a little bit to, let's say, 80, 88 degrees or 89. That looks pretty sick. Let's take the scale back to 95 for both of these just to see what we get. Now that looks pretty awesome, I must say. I'm just going to apply those same effects to this last one. And let's go to transform. And already I'm kind of set on the way that that's looking initially. That's how you get an abstract line art effect in Adobe Illustrator. Like I said, you can do this with whatever shape that you want. And you can kind of take these, expand them, change the color of them to whatever you want. And you know, now you've got some cool little assets for your graphic design projects. If you like these videos and want me to do more, like, comment, subscribe. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Peace.